Hey guys, hello and welcome to Zen Innovations. And today we have this Intel CPU cooler, also known as heatsink fan. And these things are very readily available as well as their performance is pretty nice. Which means that we tend to use these kind of CPU coolers for variety of DIY projects. So for example, today I was just playing around with these uh, Peltier modules. And guys, if you are interested in seeing my experiments with respect to these Peltier modules, then make sure to hit that subscribe button which is waiting for you down below. So guys, what we usually do is we end up buying this, uh, this kind of CPU fans from the computer store or even second hand. And once we bring them home, then we notice that, oh, this fan comes with a three wire configuration. And a lot of guys over here get confused that this is a three wire configuration. How can we power this fan using the 12 volt battery or a 12 volt SMPS? So that is what I'm going to teach you in a today's video. And for this kind of conversion, we will take a look at this fan connector over here. So this is the fan connector which uh, usually plugs into your motherboard or your fan controller. And as we can see here, this uh, connector has three wires. So this one is the black one, which is on the rightmost side. So at the extreme right, we have this black wire, which is also the ground or you can say the negative. In the middle, we have this uh, plus 12 volt wire, which is the yellow colored one. And the third wire over here is this kind of green wire. We will come to this third wire in the later part of this video. So now for converting this kind of fan into two wire configuration, what I have done is I have just stuffed these copper wires inside this connector. I will highly recommend that you properly solder these wires for your projects. But for the purpose of demonstration, this kind of jugad will work. So what I have done today is, is that let me show you how I am holding this connector. So these little tabs, you see these prongs over here, they are facing towards us, right? So this part is flat and these prongs, they are facing towards us. And when we are holding the connector this way with these prongs facing towards us, the rightmost wire, which is the black one, this is the negative. So I have stuffed a black copper wire inside this connector to provide negative to this wire. And this middle one, this bit is the positive, you can say the plus 12 volt. And again, I have stuffed this red copper wire here inside this connector, which will provide us the plus 12 volt configuration. And the third wire, which is empty over here. Let me explain you what is the purpose of this third wire. Guys, now we, we know that these computer controlled fans are automatic. I mean that their speed goes up and down depending on the temperature of our computer CPU. So this is the third wire. You can say that this is the sensor wire and this sensor wire helps to regulate the speed of these fans. So today we are not going to use this sensor wire because guys, if you by mistake provide any kind of voltage to this wire, then it is very likely possible that your fan will get ruined. So today we are going to leave that wire alone and we are just going to use these two wires. So the black one being negative, the yellow one being positive. Now the colors might be slightly different for your fan. So the the wire over here which is in the extreme right is the negative and the middle one is the positive. All right. So let's take the another end and let's make a trial run of this fan by connecting it to the battery. So I have connected here which is the negative and this part which is the positive. And we see here that the fan is working very nicely. And let me provide you another tip over here guys that by mistake if you apply these wires in the wrong way then again these fans being pretty sensitive it could be likely that these fans will get damaged. So today what we are going to do is we are going to make a manual reverse polarity protection for this fan. And for that kind of thing, I am going to use this diode. So this is how the diode looks. Let me focus the camera for you. Right. So this is how the diode looks. And as we notice over here, so one side, this diode comes with this kind of silver strip. And this silver strip is going to be towards our fan. So let me attach it and I'll explain you again how to use this diode. So this is the positive, the red wire from my fan and the side with the strip is going to be connected over here. So let me quickly connect it. And guys, if you feel that these kind of videos are helpful to you, make sure to hit that like button, which is waiting down below for you. All right. 
so this is how the fan connection looks so the power comes in from here so this is the battery or your smps the power flows to this diode and this silver wire is towards the positive of this fan so let me show you right so the power comes from here it goes through the diode this silver strip will face towards the fan positive and that is how you make a manual polarity protection for your fan all right so let's go ahead and test this thing once again so the negative goes over here in the battery and the positive this part of the diode it will go over here and as we see the fan has started working so that was it for this little video guys make sure to share this video around so that your friends can make diys with these beautiful heat sinks so that's how the guide was there today take care and have a nice day